guys this is Prabhakar Kumar and this is my first video on YouTube today I'm gonna show how to design a website using Adobe Muse Adobe Muse is an Adobe Creative Suite software and uh, it is used to design HTML websites so let's start I have downloaded my trial version of Adobe Muse here and uh, this is the interface which you will see after installing Adobe Muse okay and uh, before this we would have to download Adobe Muse from the Adobe website and uh, install Adobe Creative Cloud here okay and this is a lengthy process it takes around uh, 15 minutes to uh, one and a half hours depending on the internet speed you have and uh, the system speed like the RAM the memory everything like your computer it takes a lot of time so I didn't want to take a lot of time of yours and uh, this software will help you in designing HTML websites with no coding you don't have to get into programming HTML CSS HTML5 PHP WordPress anything you just have to download this software Adobe Muse and get started alright so here we go we can click on file and then a new site this is the interface this is a new site um, the classic Adobe interface before creating a new file let it be in Photoshop let it be in Illustrator let it be anywhere so I'm creating a website for desktop it has got an option for tablet and mobile phone too that's Adobe add-on these days and uh, let's say I've got a website page width of say 1024 1, so far and my minimum height would be let's say 1250 let's reduce the website width to as it is 960 okay the footer should be sticky everything's okay some things are not alright now this is the second page we get and uh, it gives us uh, an option to uh, create pages here home about us services contact us anything okay and this is the master page here all right so what a master page is a master page to an HTML website is uh, something like the most important page all the pages of the HTML website would have the same design the same skeleton of it okay so we have to design the master page first we want the website to be um, of the same of, of, of the same skeleton not of different uh, hair white design okay so we have to design the master page first but before designing the master page we got to go to the website tab and this website designing software works in tabular design like website one a master home okay so let's say that I would have uh, three pages to my website about us and contact us so this is a mini HTML website I'm gonna design as a test not for anyone so let's go to the master page here okay let's have a look at this this is our master page it's not gonna be at any page and it's not gonna be displayed on the website while the user visits the website but this is believe me the most important page of your website alright so take a better care of this page now before designing this page let's see how it looks on a web browser before it is designed like this it's a default way of Adobe putting through uh, so uh, a web page here so let's see how it looks on uh, uh, a web browser so we go to file and then we go to preview page in browser we click to check in preview connections here depends on your firewall and antivirus and uh, this is how your website would look like your web page would look like after getting designed and uh, if you go ahead and see the page code the page source this is a 
ready-made HTML web page. So you did not write these codes, okay? So Adobe did that for you. Adobe Muse specifically did that for you, all right? So you do not have to do anything before you design a website. Not even go to those uh, boring HTML classes on any of the websites or any tutorials on the internet. Just download the software and get going to design a beautiful website. And you can also make it your business. You can also go commercial by designing HTML websites. You can get uh, projects on Lance, freelancer.com or Odesk, guru.com. And we got a new uh, website, Fiverr.com. It's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. It's a pretty cool website. So this is our master page. And uh, I don't want to create uh, don't want to create a center uh, page website I would like to create a full width website okay so this is the browser fill and um, if I have to create a full width website with white page all over I have to delete this portion the grayish portion here at the back you can see that I have to delete that portion so what I will do is I'll go here at the top it says browser fill I'll select it and I'll go to the white thing. I'll select the white color here and it goes all white. But you see here that there is a black outline of the main page still there. So this is not an outline. This is actually the stroke of an object. Stroke on, of an object in um, mainly in Adobe software. So you will see here that if you add an object, let's be let it be uh, an image, let it be an HTML object, let it be any object. It, it comes with a stroke like an outline. So we have to uh, cancel the stroke. We have to delete the stroke. So I go here and select none. It goes off. Okay. So this is my master page now. And this is how my website will look like when it is previewed in the browser. So there is no gray background, no outline. My website, my web page has got a length. You can see I can drag and drop here. I can drag here the page. Sorry, drag and drop. So uh, it has got length, it has got width, okay? Now I'll close it and uh, now the most important thing of uh, Adobe Muse software is the right side panel here. It has got a hell lot of options, I'll tell you, uh, you will got to know when you use the software, okay? So this is the page, I've minimized this option here, there is a, uh, there is a, there is a button to get it minimized. So I did it, I've minimized it, so I can get a better feel of the website being designed, okay? Now, it comes to the header, the footer, and the content part, okay? It is very important to note that if you mess up with this uh, part, you can make your website go wrong anyways, okay? So, let's get it straight now. You can see two lines here and three lines here at the bottom. So what are these lines? These lines are the selectors. You can select your header part and your footer part with these lines. So they are very, very important. Okay, you would not get the you would not get these lines in any of the pages you design. Let it be home, about us, contact us. This is only in the master page you get here. Okay, so I'll select my uh, header to start from the top and then goes to a little bit. Uh, it can take down my logo here, then my uh, phone number here, and anything I can write here, and then my menu comes down here, and then I come to the content part. This is the content part, and uh, this is the footer. We have to select the footer very, very carefully. Okay, now I come down here. I come to see that this is bottom of the browser, okay? So when it comes to bottom of the browser, it is exactly the bottom when you drag the page down it goes to the bottom this is the bottom of the browser now I will mix it with bottom of the page okay I'll mix this with bottom of the page so now they are overlaid okay this is footer this is the selector where the footer starts from so I will start my footer from here so Technically, if I see my website now, 
it has a put row section and a head row section and a content area here. Okay, so this is my put row section, this is my header section, and this is my content portion. I can put anything I feel like, anything I feel like. Now comes the use of this right portion here. I have created three pages on my website home, about us, and contact us. As I told you, that master page is not counted as a landing page on a website, so it will not be displayed to any of the viewers. You can make changes to the a master page, okay? So now we go to the master page and we start designing it. First of all, um, we will design a beautiful logo here, okay? So I've got another software for you which you can use to design a logo. It is called the SoThink Logo Maker Professional. Please buy it. Don't download the torrent files or um, hack it or use keygens. Please buy the software so that can, uh, you can stay protected on your computer. And uh, this is the software which gives you uh, n number of options, n number of templates to design a logo here. Okay. So I'll pick uh, any of uh, the logo, let's say I pick uh, three here. Okay. I click here, pick your Cloud Clinic. This looks beautiful. Cloud Clinic, okay. Now I, uh, it's in the center. You can use it very easily. It's pretty cool software. You can make it go at the top left so that you can give it a full size. Okay. Okay, we have not made any change of logo. Alright. So I go here, export image. Okay, let's make it um, 99. Right there, export it. Desktop. Okay. Test logo. I'll make a new folder here. Test. Open the folder. I think it is the logo folder. Alright, I'll close it. I'll close this. Alright, it's already saved. Okay, I'll go to Adobe News. And then I have to place my logo, the website logo here. This is something which I can make uh, from anywhere. Let it be Illustrator, let it be so the logo maker will be any third party software, anything. I go to file and then place. Okay, place is a command here which is used to place objects on this website or the web page. You can also use control D. Control D would give you an option to place any uh, object on the website. I go to desktop, I go to test, and then I place the logo. So this is how I can get the logo to the website done. I can click anywhere, release the logo, and it comes here. Now I will place the logo here. Okay, so this is the logo which I would place on the website. And I put a test, I put a text here, like my toll free number on the website, I put a text here. Okay, go to select and then put in toll free number call plus one eight hundred zero 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 okay I select that and then I increase the font of uh, this let, let, let's make it 36 okay I don't want the area thing come on we need to appreciate it Appealing, I mean yes. Uh, using the software, uh, you can you can rely on this, and you can design a website with this. You can use your own imagination. This is 